Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today, we're going to be starting a new playthrough of L.A. Noir. I don't know about you, but I particularly enjoy these kind of games. So, um, yeah, let's, let's get into it. I'm super duper excited. We're going to start a new file. It's going to be so much fun. I can't wait. I hope you can't wait either, because it's going to be a lot of fun. A city on the verge of greatness. A new type of city. Based not on the man, but on the automobile, the car. I just the love this car. kind of stuff. It's almost like watching a movie. The it's pretty cool. Man's home is his castle, a quarter acre of the dream made possible by victory. I just love anything to do with the 1940s and 50s. And it's actually my minor was in film noir studies. So this is going to be a lot of fun. The beginning of this is so cinematic. It's just so cool. It's just like watching those movies from the 40s and 50s. It's so cool. So wait, do we start out as we do? Oh god. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Shoot. Where am I going? Oh shoot. I should have turned there. Ah! Oh shoot. Oh, I'm terrible at these kinds of things. Alright. I guess we keep going. Oh, jeez. It's like Grand Theft Auto, which I'm terrible at also. <laughs> If you can call us that. We had a shooting took place down this alleyway. We have the Vic, Scooter Payton, a Negro male bagged up and on his way to Central Morgue. Witness says a tall white guy, our shooter, put two in the Vic's head and then threw his piece. Oh. I need you guys to try and recover the gat. You want us to look anywhere in particular? Give it your best shot, guys. The dead guy's a low life. I'm not expecting any miracles here. And if we recover the weapon, bag it and return it to technical services. You hurry it up, Floyd. We got I'm out of here. To be. 
Okay. Um, all right. Just going through the motions. You're probably right. Let's just get it over and done. All right, have it your way. We'll search right up to the back wall. If you still don't come up with anything, come find me and we'll talk it out. All right. They're always better than one. I hear you. All right, we're looking for clues. Music will fade down to indicate that all clues at a location have been discovered. Clue indicators will assist in your investigation. It's not my job to pick through other people's trash. Press X when you're near your partner to ask for advice. Okay. No. What have you got besides a headache? I tell you I'm jinxed. I always get landed with this crap. Yeah, probably. Cole, come take a look at this. We're never gonna find it, it's a waste of time. Okay, well, there's blood splatter. Ah, okay. Okay, blood stain. Put him up against the wall and blew his brains out. That's graphic. Way to go. Doesn't really matter how you go once you're gone. Don't get all deep on me, Phelps. It's what I do, son. Found clues will be added. Okay. Clues. All right. Blood stain. People. Okay. All right. So. Is there anything back here? What about up here? We're thorough. Okay, there's nothing down there. What about over here? All right, so let's see. What else are we missing? I think maybe the newspaper. There we go. Papers provide backstories on events which may or may not be related. See the story behind the headline. I really not. enjoyed your lecture, Doctor. Psychiatry seems to have a tremendous amount to offer. What? Uh huh. Okay. So, what about the beer bottle? Incidental. Not all objects are relevant to the investigation. Okay. Newspaper, one of 13 collected. All right, well, there's plenty of newspapers around. That's for sure. All right. No kidding. But we wouldn't be good detectives if we didn't look at everything, right?
All right, we already know about the blood stain. Good job. We're actually going to look in the trash can. <laughs> but apparently we're not going to look in the trash can. Oh. Ralph, there's something on the rooftop. There's the gun. How the hell did you see that? I'm psychic. That's, that's how. Looks like it might be our weapon. I'm going to see if oh. I'm up there. All right. Don't hurt yourself. You say that now, but I probably will. The gun's up on the roof, right? Yeah. So we need to find a way up. Thank you, Columbo. Oh. Nice. Okay. What kind of chumps do these homicide guys think we are? Why are you touching it with your bare hands, dude? Oh, boy. Use to manipulate an object and search for points of interest. Hold. How you doing, Cole? Found it yet? There we go. Smith and Wesson. Serial number. Seven, one, eight, nine, three. They weren't smart. They didn't file off the serial number. Two rounds fired. And instead of dropping it down a drain, our shooter hoists it up here. Interesting guy. Interesting or stupid? You be the judge. <laughs> we should follow up on this now before the perp tries to leave town. Yeah. Okay. Each discover each recovered clue is sketched and cataloged. Okay. People. Murder suspect. Tall Caucasian male. Review evidence. Okay. Negro male. Murder victim. Bloodstain. Smith and Wesson revolver. Okay. Just make sure there's nothing else up here. We have the gun, Cole. Let's take it back to Central. We could get a commendation. We could. We show some initiative, Ralph. Let's see if we can come up with an owner. That's a long shot, Cole. It's a pretty fancy gun. You know a local gun store? Sure. There's a place a couple of blocks from here. Okay. Use the notebook to set your next location. Okay, gun store. Set as destination. Are you sure about this? It's not really our gig. No, I'm not sure about anything, oh, homie. The suits didn't seem to give much of a damn. Such a little boy scout cold. You can't wait yeah. to get out of that uniform, can you? You're right, I can't. I'd round up drunks and help old ladies across the road. I'd rather get through the day without the captain's foot up my ass. <laughs> It'll be fine, right? Wouldn't we all? Come on, homie, are we gonna get in or not? All right, let's see. We're going to try not getting any wrecks either. Oh, there we go. I found my brakes. Listen, I'm the police. Don't be bopping at me. You should take the next right. I should, huh? All right. Maybe I will. Get out of my way. I'm on a job, dude. Leave me alone. 
That's a railroad tracks. Ha ha ha. I know how to drive. Listen to me. Look. We're taking an alternative route, okay? Just chill out. Ooh, crap. Are you blind? Shut up. I'm just gonna knock some sense into you, that's all. Huh. Turn, go this way. We need to get onto Central Avenue, dude. We can hoof it from here. We know where we're going. We really don't. <laughs> we really don't know where we're going. <laughs> um. Okay. Would have been probably would have been easier to get the car. All right, homie. Let's go get the car. We just need to take a walk. That's all. How you doing, sir? Don't mind us. We're just pretending we know what we're doing. It's our first day on the job. <laughs> I'm going without you, homie. Let's go. Get in the car, you bachikaloop. I can too drive. What are you talking about? All right. I need you to go. I'm the police. I don't have to stop at the stoplight. All right, go, go, Gadget. Move. Hello? Move. Dude, you're impeding an investigation. Oh, that was close. You look like a mob boss. Gold handled doors allow you to enter. All right. Officers Phelps and Dunn. Can you tell us anything about this gun? Smith and Wesson, model 27, registered Magnum, chambered for 357, nickel plated with pearl grips. Same gun used by General Patton. <laughs> You're not suggesting he's the owner. No, <laughs> you seem to know a lot about the weapon. Wise guy. I sold it. You know this piece will stop a rhino. These babies. Are only available special order. Oh. Here's my Smith and Wesson order book. You mind if I take a look? You're my guest. Not that we have a warrant or anything. Bad, right? Model 27 with pearl grips, Cole. You see it on there? Um. Auto what? 27? It's the only model 27 I see. Uh, maybe not? Hold on. Okay. Model 27, nickel, checkered. Model 27, polished. This one. luck, Errol Schroeder. Aha. Uh -huh. 3 South Glass Street. Ordered the gun in February 46. Thanks, huh. you've been a big help. Anytime. Always happy to help out the LAPD. I don't believe you. Do we call it in? Let's see if he's at home. Owning the gun doesn't prove he pulled the trigger. Okay. Schroeder's apartment. Set his destination. 
Listen. You just chill your horses, bud. Um, map. Okay. And it's over here. Is that where we're going? X. Okay. So we just need to take it up to Alameda and okay. I mean, I make it sound like it's something we're able to do. I don't know where I got my driver's license. All right, I gotta go this way. Now that wasn't so hard, was it? Just because we're in uniform doesn't mean we can't use our initiative. I guess so. Of course it does. Move. You're going too slow, dude. Get out of my way. Move. Of every three crimes are done on impulse. Another fact from the Phelps Encyclopedia of Thin Air. You really are full. Um, you guys are hindering a police investigation. I need you to go faster, please. God damn it, Cole! <laughs> what? Don't look at me like that. You're lucky I didn't go, like, through something. Okay. I probably need to go... All right, I suppose I got to stop. I got to get to the other side. Get out of my way. <laughs> Move. Get out of my way. The streets of L.A. are so narrow. Right, we're not getting anywhere fast. All right, I need to go over the bridge. See, I'm a terrible driver in real life, too. All right, let's see. Where are we going? Are we anywhere near where we need to be? No. Or not. That's the river. Where are we at? Is that us? Oh, actually. Yeah, just gotta go to the end and then turn left. We're getting there in like a roundabout way. Wait, do I need to turn there? No, I need next block up. Right? Yeah, next block up. Up here. Let 
Okay, we're good. We're good people. We're stopping. And we're cops, so we're taking up two lanes. Where's my little, where's my, where's my little cherries, my little flashlight thingies? Listen, it's my first day driving in LA. I'm gonna have to turn soon. And I'm going to have to turn left. Why don't I have a blinker? Oh, there's my horns. Out of my way, copper. All right, are we getting closer to where we need to be? Are we, are we, are we? We are, but... Okay, so we turn too soon. So we gotta go all the way to the end of this street and then turn right and then another right, okay. Would it help if we had our siren going? <laughs> Come on, ma'am. I need you to go walk a little faster. Right. Hurry, sir. You're impeding a police investigation. Why do I feel like I've been here before? Okay. 12.02 a.m. What, over here? Or over here? Hello? I'm gonna assume it's this way. Old handled doors allow you to enter. We know. Inspect a mailbox to learn your suspect's apartment number. Okay, apartment number two. Apartment two. Okay, let's roll, Daddy. Three, two. Ooh, open up! It's the police. I'm Officer Cole Phelps. This is Officer Dunn. Wilshire Division. Oh. You're the owner of a Smith & Wesson Model 27, nickel plated with pearl grips? About that. Be. What of it? Then you'll be surprised to know that Scooter Payton was murdered tonight with your gun. You're out of your mind. Scooter, he works for me. Oh. I have that gun here in my drawer. Uh-huh. Do you now? What the fuck is going on here? Yeah. Last Schroeder, cup and route. No way. You're not taking me down for this. Uh-huh. <laughs> Okay. Bad move, Schroeder. You ready, tough guy? Quit prancing around and hit me. No matter, tough guy. Yeah, that's what I thought. Eat that, dude. Ralph, you all right? I'm fine. 
<laughs> You're under arrest, bucko. Now we gotta search his apartment. Alright, where to begin? Probably here is a good place to start. Okay. Artie Rosenberg, Summers. Okay, so these are people that owe him money, I assume. Floyd Rose, fifty dollars. Floyd Rose's name is in this book. Yeah. Phelps, we can come out of this all bright and shiny with a commendation, or stick our schlongs in a hornet's nest. <laughs> Call it in, partner. Oh my gosh. The book where you found it. Uh, yeah, but our prints are on there, dude. Officer like. Phelps, that's four forty-seven. Uh, hello. What are we going to learn now? You dumb fucking sons of bitches, get in this line now before I lose my temper. Excuse me, Sergeant, but... Excuse me? Fuck you! You say another word and I'll break your fucking head and have you in the brig. Some of us are here for... I know why you're here, asswipe. I'm having a bad day, Private. Some people don't seem to want to get on this bus. Didn't ask for your help. He didn't. Oh. All right. All right, guys. That was the uh, first essential case. So, uh, yeah. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this. I'm having a lot of fun playing it. So, don't forget to stick around. And we will see what this next case brings in episode number two. All right, I will see you guys on the next episode. Bye.